Hey everybody, today I'll be showing you three ways on how you can change your font on your WordPress site. I'm Talisa from WP Hub. I'm here to share easy WordPress tips on how you can make your site stand out. Now let's go through the three step-by-step -step method on how you can change your font on your WordPress site. So let's get started. Step number one, check if the theme has a font option. The first thing you need to check is, does your theme have the font option? The current theme that I'm using is Ocean WP. To change the font on Ocean WP, you go to Appearance, Customize, you go to Typography, and these are the options where you can change your font. So we can go to H1, which is the heading, which is right over here, and then we click onto Font Family, and we'll see the standard fonts that Ocean WP has. So if you choose Georgia Serif, for example, it will change the heading into Georgia Serif. And if we want to change other styles in terms of making it italic, or we want to capitalize the whole title, we click onto uppercase and it will change the whole um, scenario of it. And then this is where you can change the text size, the, uh, the line height, as well as the spacing of the letters and then if you want to choose and change the color this is where you change it but i'll keep it here for now and then when you're happy you click on to publish step two you can use plugins the second way you can change fonts is by using plugins plugins are great when you want to customize your font and your theme does not allow to do this we go to plugins add new plugins and we search fonts. And once we get here, you'll see a ton of fonts such as Google Fonts, Custom Fonts, and Google Fonts is one of the most popular fonts you can add as a plugin because it has thousands of fonts that you can choose from as well as customize. So when you decide on which font to go for, all you're gonna do is click install now and activate. So right now, let's choose Google Fonts. Once done installing, we say activate. And you should be getting a thank you notification for installing. To ensure that the Google font has been enabled for your customized theme on your site, you go to appearance, customize, you go to fonts plugin, you click on to debugging, and you say four styles. This is when you can optimize the functionality of your fonts. And then you click on publish, you click back and you click on to basic settings. Let's say you'd like to change the whole font of the website into Georgia, for example. Every text onto the website will change into Georgia. But now, let's say you don't want to do that and you just want to change the headings. All you do is click on font and let's say you want it as Century Gothic and all your headings will change into Century Gothic. Now let's say you want to change the search, the search bar button. So you also you click on there and then let's say you want it as Arial, for example. Change it to Arial. And if you're happy with that, you just click on to publish. Step three, uploading your personalized font. So let's say you have a font you've created or designed and you would like to install it onto your WordPress site. All you need to do is install a plugin called Use Any Font. So to do so, we go to Plugins, Add New Fonts, and you search the font that says Use Any Fonts. And you'll see Use Any Font right over here, and all you do is click Install and Activate. Now your plugin is installed. So on use any font, which should be down over here, you click on use any font. You first need to create an API key. So there will be a premium version and there will be a light version. So right now I'm on the light version. What you do is you go to upload fonts. You click on this part of upload fonts. Now you'll have an option to name your font. So the font that I got is called Best Cookies. I got Best Cookies from 1001 free fonts, which you can search on Google. There are thousands of free fonts you can choose from, and I chose this font specifically for this video. Choose a file from your desktop. You say open, and then what you do is upload the font. 
to make sure that your font is there all you need to do is go to appearance say customize you go to typography and then you just say all headings and then when you go to family fonts you should see best cookies should be over there then you can click onto it if you're happy with your font you just say publish I hope this video helped when it comes to changing and adding your personal fonts onto your WordPress site. If you like videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe onto our channel and read our full blog on WP Hub for more WordPress tips. I will see you in the next video. Bye.